morning guys. I probably won't film much today because A, it's Mother's Day and B, the lighting is terrible. I mean, it's a beautiful day, but when it's bright blue sky and sunny, it makes car vlogging very difficult because as you can see, <laughs> the lighting is not good. But yeah, it's Mother's Day. It is 8 a.m. and I'm driving four hours down south. Well, it says three hours 36, but there might be delays, who knows, and I might need to stop for a wee. So let's say four hours down south to spend Mother's Day with my mum. As I think I told you earlier in another vlog, it was my mum's birthday this week just gone. This is sort of a double trip of like a belated birthday celebration and Mother's Day. I'm very excited. I'm actually in the mood for a bit of a road trip and especially because it's nice and sunny. It's a nice day. I'm excited to see my family. I'll be seeing my brothers and my dad as well. So yeah, it's just gonna be nice. The only sad thing is I don't have Ava with me which is very sad because I'm only going for 24 hours because my car's being delivered tomorrow which I'm very excited about. Keegan's gonna be in most of the day so that you know he can sign for it if it comes. It's weird talking about a car in terms of delivery isn't it? <laughs> you can sign for my package like huge package. Uh, no uh, um, job. So I need to get back so this is literally a 24 hour road trip so I thought it wasn't really fair on Ava for her to sit in a car for four hours today and then four hours tomorrow morning so yeah, it's just me. Oh my gosh, and I just had a thought, guys. This is my last ever big road trip in my Mini, ever. I was annoyed initially because I was supposed to get my car earlier in the week, and I was thinking, oh good, I get to drive my new car to see mum and dad, and I'll, I'll be seeing my granddad and my uncle on, on Monday briefly as well. And my uncle especially loves cars, and I know my granddad would be interested, so I was like, oh, oh good, I could show them. And then when I found out it wasn't being delivered till tomorrow, I was a bit upset by that, but mum, was like, it's a good job because someone's car was stolen from the driveway, one of their neighbors, in the week. So actually it's probably a really good thing. I don't know what's going on where my parents live, but there's been quite a lot of crime lately. Anyway, I'm gonna make the most of this being my last ever road trip in the Mini. I don't know how I'm gonna make the most of it, but I'm just gonna thank the Mini for its service to me over the last four years. And we'll celebrate with a drive through why not? I'm nearly there, about 40 minutes away. Um, I thought I'd tell you as well about a new feature on YouTube. It's probably not even that new, but I just misunderstood it. So basically, there's this thing called hide user from channel. You can use it if someone's leaving mean comments, you click it. And my understanding of it was, and I think this used to be true, but maybe it's changed recently, or maybe I just misunderstood it. But it meant, I thought it meant, when you hide the user from the channel, their comments won't appear for me. They, they'll appear on the channel, but they won't appear for me. They'll appear for everyone else except me. So it's good for your mental health as a creator, because you're like, well, even if they're there, I can't see them. But having spoken to someone at YouTube, it doesn't mean that. It means the comment won't appear for anyone except the person who's commented it. So it now means, so I used to not really click hide user from channel, because I was like, well, I want to see what's there, and then I can delete it. Do you know what I mean? So that. I, otherwise, there could be lots of things out there that I don't see, but everyone else does. Anyway, it doesn't mean that. Hide user from channel means that someone can leave a mean comment, and if I click hide user from channel, it means all their comment will appear for is themselves. So they think they've posted the comment, but no one else sees it. So I love it. So I've done a few users. I've clicked hide user from channel, and the best part about it is, is that they're wasting their time writing mean comments and no one's seeing them. No one is seeing them. So they're basically like shouting into a void that no one can see it. So I just absolutely love it. I'm just wasting these trolls time now. So yeah, I'm just really pleased that I actually found that out because I thought it meant something completely different. So now, hopefully, I just, I'll just, i just be oblivious. It's like people can write mean comments, it doesn't matter because they'll think they've posted it, but they haven't. Right, I've got mum some flowers. Normally I get a present for her birthday and for Mother's Day, just something smaller for Mother's Day, but um, her birthday present was quite expensive. So I said it's a joint present for birthday and Mother's Day. Um, and then I've just gotten her, couldn't decide between some colorful roses or these ones. So I was like, you know what? She's worth it, I'll get her both. Yeah, I'm sure she's gonna have a lot of flowers, but <laughs> you can't have too many flowers, can you? Right, I'm the last to arrive. As you can see, all of the cars. <laughs> Or on the driveway, all four of them. So my brothers are both here. Right. 
I'm home. It's Mother's Hi. Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Thank you. And happy belated birthday as well. Oh, it's lovely to have you home. It's nice come to all be this home. way. I have. I'm You're a true. You're very silly. No, I'm not. You're worth it. Um, oh, I got a two bunch of flowers, or well, one for your birthday and one for. Oh, I wonder why there was two. You've already yeah. bought me a present, thank you very much. I know. Okay, show them. Show them. Go on. <laughs> They're very expensive ones, Ben told me. <laughs> That's why it's a joint Mother's Day and, and birthday gift. Wow. Oh, here they are. They're still in the packets. They are. See, so Mum's doing some physio, aren't you? And you've already got a few little weights, but I thought if I got her a set of four different weights, mm. sizes, you can work your way up. I can. So what exercise are you doing with these? Um, with the smaller weight, I've got to do, I've got to strengthen the shoulder. Yeah. So, like that. Oh, okay. Arm raises or something. <laughs> shoulder raises. Right. Yeah. Three of those. And what's that, what's that kilo wise? Uh, that's only two and a half. Two and a half. So that's like and five pounds. Like this. Oh, nice. But then I've got, I haven't tried these 5K, so I've been using the four and a half K. These are for the bicep curls. Yeah. Job, well, the good thing about these ones is they stack because they're they're called hex dumbbells, mm -hmm. and so they stack because they've got flat edges rather than round edges. Okay. So I'm going to show Mum some other ones that she can because yeah. she thinks she'll never be able to lift these 10 kg ones. Barely do this one. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing four and a half k. I don't know why that's, that's so good. Difficult. But yeah. Oh. Oh. Next time we see you, you'll be hench. Isn't that? I don't know. Well, <laughs> you need to show me some exercises. Ben's doing lunch in here. We've got a roast dinner. This looks very nice. Hello. Are you in charge? Are you head chef today? She's passed it on to me. Yeah. <laughs> She's passed the bat on. I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one of them's broken. Oh dear. So we only work with one of them. Right. Why is there stuff in it then? We can reheat that while the chicken rests. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Well, good work. Thank you. This is Thank look you. at the new furniture for the dining, um, the kitchen, which looks very nice. New mirror and the sofa there, which looks all good. And Dad is working on the next project, which, as you can see, is painting all of this stuff. There he is. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm nearly finished. He's sick and tired of this decorating. I'm sick and tired. Yeah, it's now five weeks. Oh my gosh. Five weeks of weekends. <sighs> You've painted the ceiling. the ceiling. You haven't done the walls yet. Done the walls downstairs. Okay. The lights. Yeah. But the big job is changing this from brown. Yeah. Stained brown to white. It's had two coats so far. Okay, two coats of primer. <coughs> yeah. And then how many of the top coat? Probably another two coats of top. Coat. Uh, and that's not even having done the bits near the carpet. The carpets are coming up next weekend. Okay. And I can do the bits at the bottom. Yeah. Well done. I haven't offered to help, but because uh, I'm a guest. Six thousand pounds it costs to do it, so save six thousand. Yes, yeah. well, that's good. Just haven't saved your own time. And I, he, there was a photo I was trying to insert it. Mum sent of Dad doing the ceiling up here, and uh, luckily you didn't die because you could have fallen and killed yourself. That's a fun bit. <laughs> Here's Oscar. How are you, Oscar? Any updates, Crumpet? They're looking for Ava. Actually, you're probably relieved, aren't you? Because. Ava doesn't leave Crumpet alone. And here's Luke. Greetings one and all. This is our previously matching hoodies. Yes. Remember we both had, you bought me one. I did. That was years ago. Many years now. 2014, I yeah. think. Yeah. Nine years ago. Yeah. See, red brings out my acne. So, well, it did at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it gave it back to Luke. Well, so, you've I got two now. Because I sold mine. Did you? To a friend who really wanted it. Ah. And then you just gave me yours. <laughs> so, uh, exactly. So, you, it was a win win situation. It was a win win. He's so cute. Look how much he's like, give me attention. He's just had a haircut. He's like, show off my new haircut in the limelight. Ava will be livid because whenever Ava comes, Mum puts all the sofa covers on. She's a mucky pal. So, yeah, she? she is. Yeah, you're a good boy. And so are you. <gasps> good boy. Hello, guys. This is Editor Joel here. I'm not feeling very well, so please excuse my appearance and my voice. Um, yeah, had a lovely time with my family. We had afternoon tea, so Dad made a whole load of scones, and we had jam and afternoon tea, which was lovely. And it was just generally a really nice time to catch up with the fam even though it was like a proper whirlwind and um didn't you know only spent 24 hours there but stay tuned the next vlog that you will see is going to be me picking up my car 
which is, well not picking up my car, my car being delivered. That will be the next video, which hopefully will be out later this week, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna keep this outro short, because as I said, not feeling well. Um, but I did release a members only video yesterday, all about um, some stuff that's been happening behind the scenes, some like work stuff that's like not ideal, but working through it, and some uh, like personal news, which was a bit sad and classic me. Got upset any change there um so <clears throat> so yeah if you're a member head to the members area and you'll see the video there and if you'd like to become a member then click join next to subscribe and other than that i'll see you soon guys bye